Good morning, Nashville. So here's the latest on coronavirus in Davidson County. Our active cases have dropped 639 from last week. We are now at 2,258 active cases. That is the lowest number of active cases since November. Total number of cases is now at 88,382. New cases since yesterday were 82. And this is the second day with numbers of 100 cases or less. But but let's be honest here. This is most likely because the cold weather has affected the number of tests being administered. But the positive news here is of the tests that were administered, um, this seven-day percent positive rate is still low at 5.8%. Rolling average of 14-day cases is 225, which is down 40 from last week. And our seven-day average of new cases per 100,000 is now 30.4. This continues to trend in the right direction. In Davidson County, this um, so far, 990,000 individuals have been tested. And over 400,000 of these tests have come from our community assessment centers. It's pretty amazing to think that we are about to hit the 1 millionth mark less than a year into this pandemic. The hospitalized patients in, t- in this our region continues to get better. Um, 369 individuals are hospitalized in Middle Tennessee and 224 in Nashville, and that's down from 242 just last week. And our transmission rate has been stable at 0.89. So far, 70,991 national, national residents have received their first dose of the vaccine. That's up about 7,500 from last week, even in spite of all the weather we've had. And these of these people, 36,777 have received their second dose. Last weekend, we moved into our 70 and older phase of the vaccine rollout plan. However, due to the winter storms, we closed the Music City Center to everyone to keep everyone um, safe and off the roads. Now, as the mayor noted, if your first appointment was canceled, we will be calling you to schedule a new appointment very soon. I rest rest assured your new appointment will happen. Your vaccine is, is there. We will get you vaccinated. You will not lose your turn in line, nor your vaccine. Also, if you're supposed to receive your second vaccine dose this week at the Music City Center, um, but obviously it was closed on the day of your scheduled second dose, we want you to return for your second shot any day that we are open, either this week or next. Ideally, if you can come on the same day of the week as you were planning on coming this week, that would help with distributing the volumes across um, the week. But again, whenever we are open, please come for your second dose and bring your CDC card. Now, once we start making some progress in our 70 plus age group, we will begin with our residents 65 and older as well. This weekend, weather permitting, we will be moving into phase 1B and vaccinating our teachers, staff, and pre, um, from both K-12 to and preschool and daycares. Um, as you all know, Metro Nashville's um, teachers and staff will be vaccinated through Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Private parochial daycare and preschools will be vaccinated through HCA TriStar. Um, I'm very grateful uh, for these organizations for doing this, and these individual teachers, staff, et cetera, have been already contacted and started the scheduling process. Couple of notes. Today, the community assessment centers and the vaccine site and Music City Center will remain closed. As temperatures um, are expected to rise, we hope to re- return to full operations the, this weekend for the Music City Center vaccine site. Um, tomorrow's plans are still up in the air and, and please stay tuned for um, whether or not Music City Center will be on, open tomorrow. And we'll return to normal operations at our assessment centers beginning Monday. And finally, The cold weather actually did present us with an opportunity this week. We had about 400 doses of our vaccine that was allocated to Davidson County that was set to expire um, because the vaccine sites were closed. And so yesterday, our our hardworking group at the Metro Public Health Department actually took these vaccines to the National Rescue Mission and vaccinated individuals at the mission, as well as some some people from the surrounding area. Um, so we will. So that, I was very excited about this because l- listen, we are not going to let any vaccine go to waste. And if we're presented with additional opportunities, we will continue to deliver the shots to our um, residents here in Nashville. But please, until you get your shot, do the things you know work. Stay apart, keep, um, socially distance, wash your hands, wear a mask. And if you have concerns, get tested. And if you test positive, make sure to ask about monoclonal antibodies, as this may save your life. 
Thank you all for, for joining us on, on this wintry day, and I'll turn it over to Brian now.